All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakha Kodash, the one instead of the elders and the apostles of the great millstone, citation to all that I can put the word of true charity with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, and the word, and he calls God Jehovah Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the Son's name of the word, and he calls Jesus and Rakha Kodash, the Holy Spirit. As always, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, other Israelites, according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners, scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage to their father line. Go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are Israelites, no matter what your appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm Brother Yudaya from the Great Millstone Branch out in Chicago, and I'm back to another lesson. It's going to be entitled Sojourners, even as all my fathers. You know, and they, sometime last week, I came across this precept when I was reading Psalms, and they. Just bringing out this is Psalms 39 and 12. It says, Hear my prayer, O Yahweh, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace and my tears, for I am a stranger with thee, and a sojourner, even as all my fathers were. You see? And, and that's what we are here today. You know, we're sojourners. You know, we're we're just passing by. As the scriptures uh, repeatedly say. You know, as it says in the book of uh, Micah, I believe 2 and 10, arising apart from this is not your rest. It is sore polluted. It should even destroy you. You know, we're here, but we're not from here. You see, ultimately, we're trying to get to our kingdom, a heavenly kingdom established here on earth. So a, right now, you know, a, we're just getting the experience of joining, you know. But a, this is that word, it's a joiner. It's from the Hebrew, Thawa uh, Shop. Thawa Shop. It says, a joiner, stranger. It says, uh, Strong's definition from H3427, a dweller, but not outlandish, especially as distinguished from a native citizen. Uh, active participle, participle of H3427, and a temporary inmate or mere lodger. It says, Resident, alien, foreigner, inhabited, inhabitant, uh, sojourner, stranger. It says, a, a temporary inmate or mere lodger. And that's what we are here. That's why the scriptures hey, warn us to not love this place, love not the world, nor the things that are in this world. For all that is in the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. It's not of the Father, but it's of the world. The scriptures tell us not to love this place, not to be of this place, not to be too attached to this place. Why? Because this is not our home. This is not our kingdom. This is not our land. You see, we're just sojourning. We're just passing by. We're just dwelling here right now. See, this is uh, Hebrews 4 9. There remain of therefore rest to the people of the Most High. And we have a rest. You know, it, it's not this place. It's when our Lord and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, comes back and establishes his kingdom. That's going to be our rest. That's that's what we're looking to get to. That's our home. See, it says Hebrews 13 and 14. For here we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. And we seek the heavenly kingdom, man. That, that's our home. That's our continuous city, man. Not this place that's uh, defiled. You got alphabets and transformers and all this wickedness. That's not our place, man. This is uh, Hebrews 11 and 1. It says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Exactly. And, uh, we're hoping for uh, what we can't see. You know, We're hoping for that. Uh, it was written in the Holy Scriptures to actually manifest and take place. That's our faith. That's our expectation. It says, for by it, the elders obtain a good report. It says, verse three, through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of the Most High. So the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. We understand that hey, this is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's world. This, hey, this is all his, you know. It says, uh, by verse four, by faith, Abel offered unto the Most High a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. The Most High testifying of his gifts. And by it, he being dead, yet speaketh. Verse 5, but by faith, Enoch was translated that he shall not see death and was not found because the most I had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased the most high. You see, these are our uh, ancient patriarchs, you know. It says, uh, verse 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to the most high must believe that he is. And that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. So you can't please the most high unless you actually believe. Have that faith perfected with those works. It says, verse 7, By faith Noah, being warned of the most high, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. 
So, hey, Noah took heed, you know. <laughs> and uh, he took heed, he had faith in what the Most High said, and uh, that led him to working, putting in that work and building that art. And uh, now we still speak of him even unto this day. It says, verse 8, by faith, Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should should have received for inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whether he went. So Abraham took that leap of faith, and he trusted in the Most High, left his family. Nay, he got the promises. Verse 9, by faith he sojourned in the land of promise, and in, it's like as in a strange country, dwelling in the tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which had foundations, whose builder and maker is the Most High. Hey, verse 11, through faith, also Sarah herself received strength, conceived seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past age, because she judged him faithful who had promised. So, hey, Sarah, you know, hey, she believed, you know, she hey, judged the Most High faithful because he said he's going to do it, and hey, the Lord delivered, as always. Verse 12, therefore sprang there even one of them. And him as good as dead. It's like it says, therefore sprang there even of one, and him as good as dead, so many as the stars of the sky, a multitude, and as the sand which is by the seashore innumerable. And hey, that same seed is here today. Showing you how cold the, the Heavenly Father is. And this is the point it says, These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them, and embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. They they didn't uh, per se a, a get the hundred percent blessing, but they they had faith that they were gonna receive it, which led them to saying, you know what, this ain't my home. I'm not gonna do what I want to do. I'm gonna do what the Lord told me to do, and in return, He's gonna be faithful. He's gonna do what He said He's gonna do. It says, but having seen them afar off, they had, they they saw, them. you know, they had faith that it would happen, and were persuaded of them. So they was fully persuaded. And embraced them. They're like, yeah, we're going to get this. You know what? By all means. And confess that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Now, this is just our pilgrimage to our to our uh, heavenly country. You see? It says, uh, verse 14, For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. Verse 15, And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from which they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is in heavily will the most high is not ashamed to be called their power for he hath prepared for them a city. You see, so hey, we have a rest. Verse 17, by faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thou see be called. You see, so it's going to keep going into uh, the testimonies of faith and the works that he perfected. These are uh, so like our ancient patriarchs that we can go back and read about. It says, account that the Most High was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worship, leaning upon the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hid three months of his parents because they saw he was a proper child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. Verse 24, by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of the Most High than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Hamashiach greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Hey, hey, Moses, man, he he had power more substance than any of us, and uh, that ancient Egypt Egyptian uh kingdom, you know. <clears throat> but as it says right here, he had respect to the recompense of the reward uh, of suffering according to the will of the Most High, and all, and afterwards receiving that promise. So hey, he hey, he he uh he abased himself, you know, and ultimately he's gonna be risen up. And he's going to receive that heavenly blessing. You see, it says, verse 27, by faith, he forsook Egypt where he was staying at, you know, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. You see, but hey, we're going to go ahead and get back to it. This is first Peter 2 and 11. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims abstain from fleshly lusts 
which war against the soul, you see? So once again, we're called strangers and pilgrims, you see? Hey, we're just on our mission. We're just passing through, ultimately, to get to our end goal, the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be on the planet Earth. So hey, we're just learning and experiencing. But hey, we're admonished, strictly warned hey, to not be attached and tangled with this world, you know, with the affairs of this world. See, hey, we're pilgrims, strangers, a a aliens. You know, we're just passing by. Yeah, we may have some cattle. You know, we got to take care of this, take care of that. But ultimately, hey, we're ultimately just passing by. This is uh, 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You see? <laughs> so we're not to be entangled with this place. Verse 16, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abide forever. And we want to abide forever, so we're going to do the will of the Most High rather than uh, uh, be complacent, uh, try and make this our home and be passed away with this place. Because there's an inevitable judgment coming to this place. You see? Hey, so, hey, Lord willing, there's just a quick out of our lesson called Lime La. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Hawak Kodash, the bonds to the elders and the, uh, the, elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Say, taste to all you. I can push this word with truth and sincerity with charity. Shall one break a thumb while I pop a ball.